nowhere in the Bible. Can we talk? There's nowhere in the Bible that God, Paul, ordained women to be pastors or bishop. Now the difference between a woman at the well going and telling a man, come see a man that everything I've done. Now, now that difference between telling and proclaiming. The difference between telling and pastoring. So my subject was back then is saying what's the difference between a prophetess and a prophet? Or what is the difference between a prophetess? Is a prophetess a pastor or a prophetess a, a prophet just like a pastor but she was not called to preach. And a lot of people missing the point of what is a prophetess and a pastor. A prophetess is not a pastor. A prophetess is just a person that predict or foretold. That's it. So if a woman say she's a prophetess and she preaching and she pastoring and she a bishop or she apostle, she ought to order. Hey, glory to God. Because a prophetess is not a pastor. It's not a preacher, it's a prophet. Tis. Deborah and glory to God. Anna, hey, glory to God. Esther, the list goes on, my kid. Marion, they were prophetess, but they didn't put, they did, they no way that they proclaim or become pastors in the church. I know the church was formed. You might say the the church was formed. Listen now. You might say the, the church was formed in the book of Acts. The church, yes, the church was formed in the book of Acts. But God ordained Paul to give orders in the church. Hey, glory to God. Paul ordained men. Hey, glory to God to become pastors and bishops. Hey, glory to God. Now, you might, you might say Philip had a do daughters that was evangelist. Now evangelist let evangelize the word of God. So the Bible, I, st I strongly believe the Bible. A lot of people, a lot of people haven't studied the Bible. Hear me now. A lot of people haven't studied the Bible. A lot of people run on opinions, run on documentation, run on what people are saying. But no way people are are reading and understanding the word of God. Tom, we as being people of God, we need to understand the scripture. Opinion is not understanding the scripture. So let's go to the Bible. These women that was a, 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 a prophetess, they did not preach. It's different between preaching and go telling. Hey, glory to God. Preaching is proclaiming. Telling is telling somebody. I know the Bible says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptize in the name of Jesus Christ, and all that, my friend. But listen, a prophetess is not a preacher. Hey, hear me, please hear me out. Because they know where Anna, that was in the book of Luke, they know where Marion, he go to in the book of, of, of uh, Exodus, he go, they know where. Esther, hey, go to God, proclaim, hallelujah, the gospel. They were not preachers. Hey, go, they were prophetess, but they were not preachers. And we got to understand, my friend, that's why there's a lot of mess in the house of God because people are out of order. My friend, the Bible says a woman should be, should be saved in childbearing. And the reason why, because Eve got deceived in the garden. And that's why if you go through the book of Hallelujah, let's go all the way back to the Galatian, uh, 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 first and first Corinthian, second Corinthian, Philemon, hey, go to God, Timothy, first Timothy, second Timothy, Titus, and, and all those books, my friend, they know way that Paul ordained a woman to, to be a pastor or a bishop. Because the Bible says a man that desires the office of a bishop must be a husband of one wife. 
Hey, glory to God. So you need to show me that God, God called women to pastor. That's my, that's my point. I'm not saying you can't share the gospel. I'm not saying you can compel men to the kingdom of God, but I'm saying to you that God did not. I know that I know you're gonna use Joel. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah. But they no way, what I'm saying to you that's listening and watching, that God did not call a woman to be a pastor. Hallelujah, or a, a bishop or apostle. There was 12 apostles. There was there was 12 elders. Hey, glory to God, amen, hallelujah. And the 24 elders are all men. Hey, go. So you're trying to tell me that the woman at the well you talking about the Mary Magdalene, hey, glory to God, they was preachers. They were not preachers. Hey, glory to God. Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. Hey, hey come on now. Judas and then another uh, apostle took his place. Mathis, amen. And Paul, out of due time, he was the next apostle. So there's no way, my friend, in the New Testament... Even though the church was formed in the book of Acts, yes, yes, it is, yes, 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 it was. But God did not ordain, hallelujah, Paul did not ordain a woman to become a pastor. Now we got all these women are out of place. Yes, they are. Jo jo o, uh, Joyce Meyer, Wendy Diviner. Hallelujah. Uh, name, name them. Glory to God. They're out of order. God did not call a woman to be pastor. The Bible says she ought to be quiet. The Bible says if she had asked ask anything, ask her husband at home. The Bible says, hey, glory to God, I suffer not a woman to teach or you to stir up here over a man. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So if you are listening to this, my friend, and it's, it's time for us to stop using our opinions. The Bible says, let God be true and every man be a liar. Let God's scripture be true and your opinion does not mean nothing. Who report do you believe? I believe the report of the Lord. And I'm not being chauvinist by saying this, my friend. I'm, I'm going by scriptural text. I used to believe women, pa women pastors or women this and that, but when I start looking at the word of God, it changed my perspective. Hallelujah. Our God use men and God use women. Now, God can use a woman. Don't get me wrong now. But in leadership over man, no. Hey, glory to God. Because God do things in order. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In those days, I know we're not in, we're not in, the, in the old dispensation or new dispensation, but in the new dispensation, God did not, hear me now, ordain a woman to become over a man. Amen. Because the Bible says, my friend, Eve will deceive, not Adam. So, so if you can find me a book and verses that God called a woman to be a pastor, hallelujah, or apostle, <laughs> and even a disciple. Jesus Christ had 12 disciples, and they were all men. All the prophets, my friend, was men. Hey, glory to God. I'm talking a prophet that was named in the Bible. We, know, we got prophetess. Amen. There was about six or seven prophetess, but they no way they were in leadership over the man. Hallelujah, Lord. And some of y'all might say, God is showing us. No, he not. He know the, the Bible said a woman are weaker vessels. Amen. Not, that, not degrading a woman, but women have their place. Men have their place. And a man is over the woman. Because we go way back in the Garden of Eden. The Bible said the woman cursed was a man over her. Hey, glory to God. Amen. We don't treat a woman like trash. We treat her as a jewel. We treat her in tenderness. But we don't let her. Hey, glory to God. She become a pastor and you become the co-pastor. No. That's out of order. Look at the Bible say. The Bible say, except for the woman Jezebel, to call herself, call herself a prophetess. That's why a lot, of, a lot of these churches have these women prophetess call themselves pastors. And they are not pastors according to God. They are self will that's why the church is full of mess right now. Because these women are rampage in the church. Hey, glory to God.